like Paul. Last week, they announced the district attorney will not be filing charges against the LAPD officers who killed Ezell Ford about two and a half years ago. Um, a lot of us already suspected that would be the case. Um, they've proven beyond a reasonable doubt they do not represent the best interests of the masses of the people here, um, not just in this city, but across the country right now we're seeing this. So, again, this is just more reason why we're calling the oppressed masses to come together and join us. Um, you know, again, they refuse to hold themselves accountable, but for every little frivolous reason, they're locking us up right now, killing us, taking us out. So we need more support. They also um, brought up two bills last week as far as um, killing protesters. One of them in Indiana was suggesting that police would have the legal right to kill protesters who block the street. Another bill was saying that the public in general, you know, wouldn't be held accountable for accidentally running over protesters. But whether or not these bills are successful or not, they are basically planting the seeds in, in the minds of people who are on the side of, um, you know, hate, kill, death, destruction right now to feel justified in, in going out there killing people who are resisting right now, people who are standing up, people who are demanding, you know, their human rights. But they're putting in the minds of other people, you know, to... You know, feel as though they have the right to further go out there and, and, and destroy human life, you know, over foolishness. Today, we will be out in Lamert Park again, um, thanking everyone who has been supporting, thanking other people who have been initiating similar programs. But right now, I do want to caution, it appears that there may be um, groups coming forward who are um, not sincere about their intentions and possibly even working with the state and other corporations to um, co-op the more genuine efforts. So we're going to monitor that closely and, and try to identify more about different groups who are now coming out. But um, the more the better, because, you know, this is a huge problem um, going on in all of our communities. Also, on Tuesdays, we'll be out there uh, with the Black Power Breakfast Tuesdays. But again, um, other groups, if you can fill in these other days, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or even the days we go, like um, we'll be out there later on today. So a group can go this morning. Tuesdays, we're out there in the morning. So a group can go that afternoon, the evening. But also groups who have... Um, more money, access to more resources, you know, asking y'all um, if you could step up to, to where we've been having um, challenges as far as getting emergency shelter for people. So if y'all are in position to do that, that most definitely is um, needed. Also, last week we um, targeted Boost Mobile, um, just a lot of different issues that have been happening over the years. And because, you know, I have been caught up in, in other battles. I haven't put as much focus on what was happening with them, but last week we went and, and started speaking to the community, um, you know, as far as them not hiring black people, as far as the service there, as far as um, this $3 fee, people have to pay just to pay inside the store now. And, you know, a lot of folks agree, but again, the thing is, what's the alternative? Because people pointed out Metro PCS and other um, uh, service providers, same issue. So that's one of the reasons why we putting out the call to people who have uh, more wealth. Black communications is most definitely something that's needed. Um, for the last half a year, we've been speaking on um, getting our own social network, building up our own web hosting, um, you know, just making an exodus from all of these um, things where we're entrapped to and, and dependent on white nationalism for. So, you know, most definitely um, 
people getting those tax returns. I don't know how big you're getting, but look, you know, at investments. Um, also, um, as far as this movement against the prison, start sharing stories of, of the ones you know who are incarcerated. You know, we need to um, let people see what's happening. Because again, more and more people are waking up, so just keep sharing the stories. Um, people have been questioning how are we in the 20th week, and it hasn't been any real news as far as actions on the inside. You know, I've personally been pushing it as far as what week we in because on the outside, yeah, we are still organizing on behalf of um, our, our brothers and sisters liberation. So still boycotting um, these corporations on the outside, you know, that's still going. And, and weekly we have been finding individual isolated stories here and there, but also a lot of the organizers have been falling under um, repression. So in different ways, it's most definitely still going, but communicate to your loved ones, encourage them to um, participate, encourage them to look at um, commissary boycotts. Um, you know, as far as our black economy, that goes back to what we were saying uh, with the, the black communications companies, black transportation. I know a lot of different brothers and sisters are doing the Uber thing, but, um, you know, build up your own client base. Um, another brother yesterday was telling me he's doing something similar as far as um, cleaning. Um, he, he gets called out to different businesses to go clean their, their, their business for a certain amount of hours. But he pays a um, basically like a pimp, a, a, a company that, you know, connects workers with businesses that need those services and pays them a fee. But again build up our own client base and um you know we can move forward and just lastly um bob johnson called for the need of a black an independent black political party and this supposedly was after a meeting he had with donald trump so you know don't really know what went on within that meeting you know it would be great if on all levels we could start forming um our own political parties but again, um, Bob Johnson comes from a very privileged class. So, you know, under the conditions that we're living in, he and a lot of other um, so-called black elite have been doing well. So that's something we can't just fully run with, but most definitely monitor, get involved to different extents and see what's happening. And if um, brothers and sisters are sincere about pushing agendas um, and, and actions um, on our behalf, our collective behalf, then great. But it can't be a situation where we just coming together, talking about the issues, you know, big festive atmosphere, but no real work is getting done. So um, moving forward, again, just need everyone's support. Hopefully more and more people realizing this isn't just um, about the homeless people. It's not about the youngsters gangbanging. It's not about drug addicts, but... The attack is upon all of us. Um, again, one of the first things on their agenda, they said, is coming after the homeowners. So we all are in this together. All power to the people.